<laughs> All right, hey, it's Bamboos, and we're we're starting off with our fifth, fifth, fifth episode, oh, episode cool. five. Woo, woo! Episode five. We got Steven, we got Murph, and we got me. Congratulations, guys! Your brain is this is our fifth episode anniversary. Woo! Take a drink. Oh. <sighs> Every episode will celebrate our anniversary of whatever episode. Okay, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> I like it. So, so what's everyone drinking? Stephen first. I got this small drink. Small? Oh, that's just a tiny guy. Yeah. I that's got the, the Irish Pirate Stout. <laughs> I finally decided to get some. Oh, oh yeah. Got a growl. Our, uh, our not yet sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Ah, it's, so, it's so good. I know the Irish Pirate's so good, and it's the highest percentage of uh. It's like alcohol. S- is it is like seven point something? Five. Five point yeah. five. I was cool. just looking at it because I also got Brewkeepers. I don't have the I don't have the thing out here, but I got the Tamavi. Oh, ah. I had the, I brought the thing down here so I didn't have to run upstairs to refills. That's, That's a good idea. Smart. Tamavi. Yeah. That's the one you told me to try. I'll probably try it next time. It's so good. Well, I feel lame because this is the only thing I have in the fridge right now. I'm just drinking all mango rita. Mango rita. <laughs> wow. But I got you beat. I got you all beat on the alcohol percentage. Eight Ooh. percent alcohol. Whoa. <laughs> so I got a whole fridge of these. So I'm gonna be thoroughly fucked by the end of this episode. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> and these are going down like juice. <laughs> I just, just opened this like. five minutes ago. It's halfway gone. That's the way uh, you want it, right? Ah, uh, juicy. <laughs> so uh, what's up? Oh, nothing. That's cool. Just uh, uh, anybody play any video games? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you play? I'm still playing. Uh, I'm hooked on Doom. <clears throat> Doom. Hell yeah. 2016. Nice. Doom. That game is bomb. I'm like so shocked and surprised at how long this game has taken me to play. Um, Most like action first person shooters are pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And like, I'm at a, I was at a point where I'm like, okay, this is it. I teleported to hell. This is probably the, like the last level. And then I looked online just to kind of get some hints. And no, I'm not even halfway through it. <laughs> I'm, I've Damn. spent four hours a day on it for the last two weeks, maybe a week and a half. Dang! Holy I'm just, shit! But now I'm like going through and trying to, ex- you know, explore every crevice, <laughs> crevasse, every fold, yeah, every fold of the level, every dark, stinky corner. Oh yeah! Trying to get yeah. all those dirty secrets. Yeah. How <laughs> dirty are they? Oh, they're dirty. Some of them are <laughs> nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've been working on. Haven't played any more Witcher Three yet. You're just trying to no. No, I kind of doom. I went on a hiatus because I was starting to get burned out. I feel like really? that game. I mean, what was I? I've been playing it for a month and a half, and when you play a game for that long, it it gets a little. You just got to take a break. And yeah. How far are you after a month and a half? Like twenty percent, <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Right. Was that an eight hundred hour game? Yeah, something? it's massive. Yeah. <laughs> So, so what about you, Brandon? Uh, I finished Spider Man. Mm. That's right. You were raving about that. Woo! So good. Does it? Oh, uh, good. It does get tedious with like the little extra shit, like the tokens you have to collect to like upgrade your gear and buy suits and shit. Ah, so yeah, that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, like, it's, it's just cool it's, at first, but right. you know, it gets tiring. So there's like eight districts. And you have crimes in each one. You can do about five crimes per category. Mm -hmm. But there's four of them. So you're doing 20 crimes per district. (laughs) And then, like, they're all generally the same crime. They're just broken out into four different groups of people doing them. No. Oh, oh, wait, you gotta stop the crime or commit the crime? You gotta stop the crime, of course. Oh, man. I was hoping... uh, Is that, like, necessary or is it just, like, (laughs) bonus stuff? Um, I mean, technically it's bonus stuff, but if you want to collect all the shit, like the yeah. suits and the upgrades and the extra move sets and upgrade the gadgets and your skill tree and all that shit, you gotta do all that shit. Hmm. Damn. 
But you're like, after the like 160th car chase, you're like, okay, I've done this so many times, I just can't do it anymore. Well, they probably <laughs> just do that so when people get to the end, and if they just want to keep playing forever, they haven't got crap to do. That's true. I will say I'm like 91% uh, achievement completion, oh, so I'm just going to 100% it, I think. Nice. Going for the plat. What about you, oh, Steven? Yeah. Still playing Final Fantasy X. God damn. <laughs> it took me about a week to beat that Chocobo race, so. But I beat it with a time of zero seconds. Got Titus' Celestial Weapon, and it's awesome. I was, like, before I got it, I was doing, like, 2,000 damage a hit. So I got it and went and leveled up a little bit, and I'm doing, like, 24,000 damage per hit now. Jesus. Damn. Just ruining things. But yeah, I've just been doing that and then leveling up so I can beat all the side bosses and crap. Hell yeah, you showed me the sword. It looks fucking dope. It does look pretty cool. Then after that, I'm going to play the Final Fantasy X 2, mm. which I've never played. Well, sure. Did you get Did you get Orin's weapon? Yeah. And you got Yuna's as well? Yeah. Oh, so your whole party is just stacked. Yeah. Yuna's hitting for like 70,000 with her I learned. I took it through Lulu's sphere grid, so she learned uh, all the black magic, and she has Ultima, which hits every character, and it does like seventy thousand damage to every character. Is Murph pouring green brisk iced tea into his? <laughs> right, I was just I'm doing a little experiment while you talk. This is <laughs> brisk, baby. He does look brisk, like a diabolical. Brisk a iced diabolical tea and watermelon lemonade into my mangarita sparkling margarita. How's it taste? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's delicious. It's <laughs> yes, I just created... Now, that looks gross. It does it look gross. You probably... Yeah, it looks gnarly. like pee. But it's... I mean, I wish my pee tasted as good. Mm. Yeah, I, mean, mm. I would drink it more. Recycle every time. Probably drop the alcohol content down significantly, <laughs> but... Sure. Oh, that's okay. Drop some vodka in Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Mix your pee with vodka, everyone. That's the way what if I it. just pulled a bottle of vodka right here? It wouldn't have surprised me at all, really. <laughs> I mean, I have some in almost arm's length, like right <laughs> in this room here. You should put a uh, a wine cellar down there. I could in hey, my uh, room in the sex dungeon. Yeah, you could turn that would be awesome. Turn the sex yeah, dungeon into a wine cellar, or, because... or into a, one of those rooms to like keep cigars and stuff. Both. Why not both? Why not both? Yeah. Because, well, yeah, because I know cigars have to keep a certain humidity, 70%, I want to say. Is it? I think. And I think wine does, too. I don't know. I had to look into it. Uh, Or no, wine has to keep a certain temperature, like Mm. 55 degrees. Cigars. I wouldn't think that that temperature would hurt the cigars, and I wouldn't think that that humidity would hurt the wine. You're right. So I you think we can. Uh, I think we can tag team this. Uh, I'm googling it. Mm. Me too. Um, the humidity for a wine cellar should be between 53 and 57 degrees. Ooh, I don't think that'll work then. The ideal condition for cigars is 70 degrees. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So have to go for one or the other. Hmm. I think wine. Yeah. Yeah. Cigars aren't really my cup of tea. You know, they're like a one-off thing. Like you got to be in the mood, and yeah, they're not an everyday. It's gonna be a certain occasion all the time. I think, kind it, of thing. like, if you're around a bunch of guys just hanging out on a beach or something, I can yeah. see it. Yeah, I agree. Mm. If we ever do a beach vacation, I'll bring the stogies. Hell yeah! I what just want to drink on the beach. Oh, I know. Same that's, all the time. That's my goal: drink on the beach. And a bonfire on the beach. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have to, like, own part of a beach to in order to put a bonfire on a beach? No, you just have to find the right beach. Yeah. Some beaches I have that uh, you're allowed, as long as you do it below the, uh, the coastline or the, the high tide, I guess I should say. Or do you just say fucking YOLO? Screw the police. YOLO! <laughs> I'll have my fire whenever I want. I'll That's have right. it on these sand dunes. <laughs> Protected wildlife. Yeah. I'm going to smoke my big ass stogie with this campfire. Yeah. 
I just looked it up. You can't do fires on the beach at Top Sail. Aww. Uh. Fuck you, Top Sail. What beaches allow fires? <laughs> Fuck it. We're going to Tijuana. Doc Weiler Beach there does. The hell's Doc Weiler Beach? Where the yeah? Where the fuck is that? California. Let's drive to California. Jeez. Right. Top anyway. Sail Beach does allow charcoal charcoal grills, though. Mm, it's not, it's the, not same. the same. It's not the same. I want to burn some driftwood. Yeah. Oh. So what'd you guys what'd you guys do this week? Uh, worked. Oh yeah. yeah, that's right. You guys do do that. <laughs> Oh, we suffer at the same place. That sucks, man. It does. Jury you, should, uh, you should quit. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've convinced yeah, let me. Let me call him up right now. <laughs> I don't know why you guys haven't thought of that before. Just no, seriously, <laughs> how? Who's working right now? Oh, we'll both text them and be like, we quit. <laughs> uh, yep, all right. I'll do that. Is it Tara? Yeah. Done. I am a genius. She would actually probably think we're serious. <laughs> <laughs> you should just like take your phone up and record your screen of us on the video together, just telling her we quit. <laughs> hey, Tara. I know you're bo I'm a, your boss and everything, but I gotta tell somebody I quit. <laughs> uh, she wouldn't care. She's off next week. Nah, she'd send me a text that just says okay in lowercase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so what else we have to talk about? You guys been watching any more of the boys? I haven't even started it. No. What I, the fuck's wrong I don't with you have two? any way to start it. What do you mean? Because the only time I get to watch TV is when I'm working out in the mornings, and that TV doesn't have Amazon Prime app because it's a Vizio. Uh, they don't have the, and they don't update the Hulu app. It sucks. Jesus. I don't watch it because I don't have. Amazon Prime. You want mine? Yes. Why don't oh, you man. just you tell me the password right now? The over password the, is over the line here. Stephen <laughs> Lucas sucks. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. That was your password at work at one point. <laughs> yeah, it's no longer, but yeah, it was at one time. Okay, I'm trying to log in. It's asking for your social security number. Go ahead and give me that. Hold on, hold on. Okay. And I need um, your mother's maiden name. Oh, okay. That's um, oh, it's weird. It's asking for your credit card number too. Oh, well, I can give you all that stuff easily. <laughs> well, just hold on. I'll, t I'll type it out in chat. Yeah. But anyway, there's only one more episode this season of The Handmaid's Tale left, and it's been pretty hardcore. Yeah. What season? I still haven't are... started that. Are we on season two of that? Three. Season three. Ah, oh, damn! I need to start. You do, Brandon. Give me your password. Oh God! I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying right Jeez. now. It's your fault. There you go. Oh! Did you give it to him? I did. I gave it to him real hard. It's just a bunch of asterisks. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really? Isn't that what all passwords are? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh man! Uh, so Borderlands Three, you guys excited? Yeah. Yes. Oh man! I, well, I don't know. I guess. I did hear rumors the publisher has microtransaction fever, and that's pretty uh, shitty. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> and with a game like Borderlands, there's gonna be a lot of microtransactions. Yeah. I mean, well, that game... I mean, they had them in the other ones too. Kind of. You could buy those gold keys. Yeah. To unlock the chest. But a game like that was designed for microtransactions. If yeah. They, uh, that'll make me very upset. Mm -hmm. Especially because it's on the Epic Game Store. That's my biggest turn off. And then I finally was just like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it because they offer a higher percentage than Steam, so I can see why they went with it. But now I keep hearing all this crap about how terrible Epic Games treats their employees. Oh, really? Yeah. I haven't heard of that one. I mean, I've heard Epic and how they've uh, uh, tried to dominate the market and, uh, with shady tactics and stuff like that. But, yeah, the employee thing is new to me. Dude, they'll never take down a giant like Steam. Like, Steam, 
has cemented itself. <laughs> but it's just stuff that like the gaming one. Making them work crazy overtime to get stuff out on time, but then not paying them any overtime and stuff like that. Like like a hundred hours a week overtime. I haven't heard of that, but that's some bullshit. Yeah, I know. Jesus. I need to watch the boys, dang it. I need to. It's really good. It's super good. <laughs> mm-hmm. You've watched that. I've been watching The Handmaid's Tale. Would you watch anything, Murph? Uh, Jeopardy. Uh, they had the, <laughs> really? the teenage um, uh, teenage con- or teenage uh, thing. Teenage thing? With teenagers this week. How's Trebek? Trebek is doing... He's kicking ass. He's doing fine. Yeah? Yeah. He's, he's, he's always kicking ass. He's going to pull through. Yeah, he's uh, thank gonna, God, he's gonna kick Kank's, Cancer's ass. Like, yeah, Trebek is a national treasure. He is. He is so funny sometimes. He gets his little uh, his little quips in. Dude, he's so that... hardcore. When he announced <laughs> this freaking cancer, he just did it in classic Trebek fashion. He just deadpan stared at uh, the camera. He's like, "Yeah, I have cancer. I'm gonna beat it. It's fine." <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. And he did. <laughs> well, I mean, he's 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 on his way. He's he's doing really well. Uh, but yeah, yeah Trebek. Oh yeah, Jeopardy. Um, that's all I've been doing all week. <laughs> Good old Jeopardy. I don't have a whole lot to add. You should watch some real shows. I know. I know. I'm too busy. I'm busy working. Really? Uh huh. I work harder than you guys. When does that? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's probably. <right. laughs> uh, you definitely work harder than Steven. Oh uh, uh, yeah, uh, oh, I work harder dude. than one of you. I have to send emails to people about him all the time. Oh, yeah, I know God. Steven's slacking. He'll get better. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's not true. But oh, I finished all of New Girl. All of it? All of it. Jeez. The last episode... I don't want to tell you what happened, but... Boil it! It was unexpected. They... So, like, Je- Jess and Nick are now are together in the last season, like, married, and they're the only two left living in the loft. And they get, they get evicted, right? Because... What happened to freaking Schmidt and... Schmidt and Cece got married and bought a house. Uh, Winston got married to another lady and they got a house. Who, who the fuck did Winston get married to? Allie. You probably didn't watch far enough. She's uh, actually a really good character. Know, but... but anyway, the last episode, I think I think Nick and Jess got married to second to last episode. <coughs> and in the last episode, they're moving out because they got evicted. So some company bought the um, place the building. So they got everyone to help them move out, and they had this big emotional last night, and that was like the whole last episode. And then they went to leave. Nick pulled down the gate for the truck, and it had Winston's face on it and said, gotcha. And the whole thing of them getting evicted was a huge prank th- that uh, Winston <laughs> pulled on them. <laughs> but they already had the truck loaded and everything, so they said, screw it, and left. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, like, prank Sinatra! Gotcha again! <laughs> God damn it. And they're just like, they, they all got so pissed. Nick just like walked down the street and just looked up in the sky and started screaming. <laughs> it, was, it was funny, uh, but it, it's one of those ones that where it actually it's, it's way better when you watch it than when you hear it. Somebody say what happens. Spoiler alert! By the way, that that yeah. show sounds lame. It's hilarious. Damn, lame. It's hilarious. Just shitting on it. <laughs> I actually think you would like it, Murph. Oh, I would hate it, and you know why? Because you hate Zoe Deschanel. Oh, she's terrible. Have you watched anything she's been in since Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Uh, yeah. What? Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> shit, she called me out. Um, well, like Almost Famous, she was terrible in that. She almost ruined the movie. I didn't even remember almost her being famous. in that. Yeah. Terrible. She played the sister. Oh, I don't even, that, what the hell is that movie? That was so long ago. That was probably before Hitchhiker's Guide. Probably. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, 
That is old. 2000, Murph. 2000. Yeah. Well, I hold a grudge. Damn. What else was she in? She was an elf. <laughs> elf, I don't... Yeah. Well, she was okay, you know. Yeah, she still... I didn't think she was great, elf. I mean, I still like her singing voice. Her singing voice is dope. I never, I never even really liked her until... Uh, New Girl. That was the first thing I ever really liked her in. I liked her in 500 Days of Summer. That's th- right. Chick flick. I think she acted well in that, but I, her character pissed me off. <laughs> I've never seen that movie. Oh, yeah, she was in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. What? Yeah, I know. In one episode. And they did they a crossover ruined. with New Girl. It ruined the episode for me. Jeez. I don't even remember that episode. Yeah, it was a crossover because uh, New Girl, at the same time, did an episode with them in their episode. No kidding. So they're in the same universe. Whoa. I really don't remember that episode. Really? And I've watched all of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It was in... You don't remember it because you blocked it out of your memory. <laughs> Season 4, yeah, episode true. 4. It's in the early episodes. What the fuck? Yeah, it was what, on Jake's first case back to the precinct after going undercover, it sounds like. Remember when he went undercover? Like, deep yeah. undercover for a long time? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I do remember that, yeah. So what are you drinking, Brandon? More Tamavi. Oh my god. What are you got? <laughs> Well, yeah, you've got like an endless stock of that now. Sure do. <laughs> I went and grabbed a bottle of cold cum. Did you say cold cum? Yep, look at that. Mmm, it's delicious. Ah, uh, damn. How long did it take Steven to fill that up? Oh, uh, that's just uh, one session. Yeah. Wow. Holy yeah. Shit. How much water do you drink, Steven? <laughs> I drink a lot of water, but I don't really know if that actually has an effect, much of an effect. Uh, it was just a thought. <laughs> it tastes like coconuts. Oh! Oh, you must have been just storing it then for multiple years, right? No, like three hours. Three hours? Yeah. Damn! How <laughs> big is your nut sack? Like it has to be like it's just they like are round, the size of coconuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hence the flavor. Damn. <laughs> That's impressive. Thanks. Are you in the Guinness Book of World Records? Nah, I don't want the notoriety. I'm not in it for the for the fame. Everybody's <laughs> gonna know now. This podcast is famous. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be famous one day. Watch well, like in, in episode 100, we'll get super famous. People come back and listen to this and <laughs> listen oh to how lame we sound. No, I get it. Lucas has coconut-sized balls. <laughs> No, oh, I also finished watching The Office again. Again? Damn. Yeah. Hence, hence the, the t-shirt there. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing Bear an Office t-shirt. Beats Battlestar Galactica. But, Did you uh, do that in a week? No, it's been a little while. I want to watch it as much as possible now since it's leaving Netflix. No, what? Yep. What? Oh, the Office is leaving? Okay. I thought it was just Friends. No, Office is leaving too. Well, Friends can die in a fire. But... Office is leaving because uh, NBC's do it. It's in streaming service. Jeez. Every, every, Friends everybody. is leaving is because whoever owns that is doing their own streaming service, too. Everybody's just going to have their own streaming service. It's going to be spread so thin, all these viewers. Because, you know, not everyone's going to be able to just have access to all of it. Nope. It's just going to be a nightmare. Well, it's going to go back to how it was. Like, Netflix pretty much got me to stop pirating stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna go back to party stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's true. Oh it's just man. It's gonna be like TV, but streaming now. <laughs> yeah, and it's except you have to pay like twenty different bills instead of one. <laughs> Which a part of me is fine with because cable advertising has gotten completely out of hand. It's garbage. Like I try to watch basic cable shows, you know, like, whatever. Yeah. It really is only, what, 15 minutes worth of television. Yeah. And another, like, for half an hour uh, spot. It's only, like, half actual entertainment. 
Yeah. yeah. Think about. Mostly commercials. Yeah, and yeah, that's ridiculous. It never used to be like that. Because they're trying to pull in more revenue. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if all these streaming services end up cutting their advertising commercials, kind of like, well, like, like Hulu, you know, Hulu and Hulu Netflix, has the ad-free option. Yeah. Then I guess I'm okay with it. Sure, I'm gonna miss some shows because I'm not paying for any of it, but. You know, I can acquire them. Otherwise, I like. Yeah, I, mean, I do you can like how Dis- Disney Plus is going to have an add-on option for Hulu. Like, if there was a one place that you could just get all of them, you know, instead of paying a bunch of different bills and having a bunch of different apps, have just like one app that has all of them. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah. And that'll come. There'll That's be something. <laughs> But, I mean, yeah. currently, the only ones I need are Hulu, Netflix, and maybe, like, an anime one. Like, Funimation or Crunchyroll or something. I don't even have an anime one. I still uh, have an anime one. Hulu and Netflix I want to watch. Yeah, but you know they're going to go by the wayside, and the anime's going to be like, we have our own anime streaming services. No, I mean, they already do. Like, Crunchyroll. I mean, they're going to, like, just monopolize it. Take no, from each, Netflix and each anime studio will come out with their own yeah. streaming service. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, it won't even be each network. It'll be each TV series will have its own streaming service. <laughs> and then streaming will turn into what cable is, where there's just ads all the time, and you can't um, even pay enough to get rid of them. It'll just oh. be Twitch. Everyone, random people will just buy these different services and just play stuff on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen seen people who actually have done that, just like had Dragon Ball Z marathons on Twitch and stuff. Oh yeah, really? They just sit there. And yeah, they like, just what? play. Watch they don't Dragon even, Ball Z. They don't have them on it. It's just a straight stream of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, okay, I've seen that shit with music. Like people just play music that you would normally have to just buy, purchase. Yeah, like for Spotify, and they just have a stream. Well, that's how uh, Steph used to watch uh, Rick and Morty. It was like a just a constant stream of episodes oh, yeah. on, I don't know, YouTube or something. I forget how yeah. she watched it, but it was weird. Because yeah, you never know which episode we're playing next either. It was strange. Yeah, I need to watch the. I need to catch up on Rick and Morty. Damn it! You you haven't caught up on Rick nope. and Morty. Oh my god! Who are you, dude? I don't have the time. I got this stupid job. My boss is a dillweed. That's fair. You can't just watch it while you drive to work? (laughs) No, because I I don't want to use the data. You can't just uh, replace your eyelids with little micro TV screens so you can sleep and watch at the same time? I would definitely do that if I could do that. (laughs) Damn, that does sound like something out of real work. (laughs) You just can't implant the episodes into your cerebral cortex? Netflix has that option on their app to actually download episodes and stuff. I thought you were going to say Netflix has that option to download into your cerebral cortex. I thought he was about to be like, yeah, I have a USB 3.0 in the back of my neck. I got that installed like last week. It's fun. <laughs> like Johnny Pneumatic. <laughs> What do I have? Unwatched in my stuff. The Polar Express. The Polar... You watched that recently? No, this is, this is all my unwatched stuff. Jesus. Oh. Such a cra- Outlaw Star. I've never watched Outlaw Star. I don't think I have either. Oh, Vikings. I want to watch that. Oh, yeah. I guess I should watch that, too. Dylan said that was really good. I haven't watched it either. Oh, Murph. What'd you get at the... Uh, at the flea market today yeah I oh it, i guess i should mention i went to a huge ass flea market today did it have a lot of fleas so many fleas i mean i'm still itching god damn it <laughs> good news is i started a flea f- circus what yeah it was like a ferris wheel and a balloon ride and everything. they used to have those didn't they yeah yeah, it used to be a thing. It was just it, there were no fleas there. Now, now it's all about <laughs> animal rights. Well, they never had fleas there to begin with. Wait, 
fleas have rights now? Yeah, didn't you know? No, Peter. I didn't. Think Peter. Please elaborate. Yeah, well, I, Peter, I mean, the character it. from the Hunger Games, he's fought for flea rights. Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking Peter. Now the fleas can't have fun at circuses. What a douchebag! So that makes Peter evil. No, but um. Anyway, I went to a flea market and I bought spatulas. Spatulas, nice. Yes, old school. Look at these things. I don't know. Damn. I know our uh, podcast listeners can't see what I'm holding up, but these are some fine instruments. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they don't make them like this anymore. These yeah. are solid steel. Holy shit! I mean, Holy I'm hard. Shit. I'm hard just looking hard at Hard as a spatula. Yeah, hard as a <laughs> There's the episode <laughs> name. <laughs> That's another episode name I won't remember because I've been drinking. Although, I'm not drunk yet. These things haven't kicked in. Hard as a spatula. Man, I know this sounds weird, but it may just really makes me want some salami. Hmm. So, the word spatula... Spatula. You, you connect it to salami. No, hard. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, no, that makes sense. you buy hard salami. And then when I was typing it out, it was like hard spatula, so hard S, and then salami just popped in my head. And you can flip hard salami on the grill with a spatula. You cook salami on the grill? Grilled salami? Ooh. I mean, that's the nobody, episode name. Nobody's going <laughs> to stop you. Um. I just type out different names that sound good. No, it works. What else did I buy? I bought uh, G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, that's, we should do a whole segment, actually, where you just uh, talk about the stuff that you bought. <laughs> oh, that's so boring. <laughs> you want, yeah, okay, I bought some Matchbook covers. Uh, I thought some, you were going to say Matchbox 20. I, I bought know. some Matchbox 20. I, I mean, if you bought like a dildo from 1870, I'd want to see that. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of a story. <laughs> <laughs> of course it does. What is it? No, it was just a, a, a news story I read uh, last week. It was about this actual dildo carved from ivory from oh. something like the 15th century that sold for auction for thousands of dollars. And this thing, it was massive. It was like the size of my forearm. It was carved. It was just, I mean, I'm not gay. But it was beautiful. God damn! It was a thing of art. You just need to like, put in that a... in like one of those Your casings, bundle? like the the rose from uh, Beauty, Beauty and the, the Beast. Beast? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it came in an intricate box lined with silk and felt. Where does ivory oh. come from? Like a rhino? A rhino horn? Ivory? Like yeah. Horns and elephant. tusks, like elephant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, elephant tusks. And it's like. Well, it's illegal to make anything from ivory anymore, so anything ma already made from ivory is like worth a lot more money. Yeah, I mean, like, it was pre—it was made pre-illegalization. Uh, yeah. Because when we used to burn pianos, we—I remember when we would grab them and take them. First thing we do is check and see if the keys are made of ivory. Because if we were, oh like, yeah, <laughs> we could, we could keep these and sell them, but we never actually found any made of ivory. They were always yeah always made from now. I feel like they'd be a little more rare than the ones you would find in the Ohio Valley. Mm. Especially the no. ones that people living in trailers are throwing out, you know? Right, right. But How those much are the was best. like a piano with ivory keys cost? I don't know. I don't know, because you can't buy them. So you can't buy them like, officially. You'd have to buy them off of a person. Off the black market. But I will tell you, Trailer Parks had the best burning pianos. Those pianos went up in flames. It was great. Trailer Parks? Mm. What does that mean? Like Just like Trailer Parks burnt the best pianos? They had no, the they... best pianos to burn. because like, burn. Plus they like didn't keep good care of them, so they were just easier to get a hold of. <laughs> for one thing. Yeah, I think that was it, really. They were just... <laughs> The easier just to, to yeah, acquire. Easier to acquire pianos. Yeah. If you're ever in the market 
for a cheap secondhand piano, just cruise the trailer parks, <laughs> knock on the doors, and ask for their old pianos. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. To be fair, yeah. you probably have to give them a new piano and replace it. Because that's what, that's what I had to do. What? Just don't give them an ivory piano. But I, I worked as a piano delivery guy. A pianoist. And then, like, the pianos, they couldn't actually, like, recover and stuff afterwards or do anything with They would just throw out. So we would just take them and burn them. That's absurd. They make for great bonfires. They burn forever. You just gotta watch out for those strings, man. Yeah, might fly off and cut off your head. They'll slice you. Oh. Did you guys have any decapitations while you were uh, burning peanuts? We were drunk. Uh, we don't know. There was always like 30 <laughs> people at our party, so we didn't know. So it's possible there's a trail of dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> we never kept count or track of who. Because there'd be like a piano burning over here, people firing crossbows in the woods over here. Oh, so you could add multiple deaths by multiple means. Fireworks over here. I don't know. Firework deaths, piano deaths, mm. crossbow deaths. Jeez. No. We didn't have crossbows. We always used compound bows. Yeah. That's uh, the way to go. Yeah. What? Didn't you have broadswords too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Broadswords. Yeah, yeah. Schematons. Broadsword deaths. Samurai. Tanas. <laughs> Your parties sound ridiculous. <laughs> These parties were ridiculous. Uh, our entire out a huge farmhouse, entire outside wall was just. A projector with porn on it. Nothing but porn. <laughs> and like outside, we would just had like sofas, and people were just sitting there watching porn. <laughs> Come porn, you guys watch tonight. Oh, big hairy piano fuckers. That's what we're watching tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of beer on the big screen. <laughs> a lot of beer pong. Ah, uh, it's not ever a party. Yeah. A lot of fireworks inside. Some weird animals, yeah. like guars. And... I don't even know what a guar is. Isn't that a country? No, you think Guam. <laughs> That's uh, a band. Is that a band? No, you're thinking guar. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Touche, Murph. Thanks. Touché. Hey, you know, I was just thinking, you should have <laughs> always... You, sh you should have used to... You used to... Should have... <laughs> Should have used to. <laughs> you should have used to introduce yourself to people as, "Hi, my name's Steven. I'm a pianoist deliverer. Pianist. Pianoist. <laughs> pianist. Pianist. I'm a pianist deliverer. Oh, I'm a penis deliverer. <laughs> penis deliverer. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Look, I bet it would look good on a business card. Yes. Why am I getting an echo? An echo. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah, I'm echoing out real bad. No, no. Maybe you need to get like a headset mic. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Or maybe get what like what I have here. Get the big boom stand. You can put it right over your head. Oh, is that what you use? Yeah, it's like fifteen bucks on Amazon. So why do you have a microphone uh, headset? Because my microphone sucks. <laughs> that I have. Oh, sorry. The boom stand's fantastic. It's a good microphone, it's just not. It takes a lot of fajangling to get it to sound right. I got you. No, that's fair. And I'm lazy. I still haven't got my Blue Yeti to work because I'm. Yeah, Brandon has like a crazy awesome mic and he won't plug it in. I've tried to get it to work multiple times, it just doesn't do what I need I, to I think I solved the problem. Oh, yeah, really? My me? mic was too close to me. No. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Did you uh, look up any pictures of guars to see what they look like? Yeah, that was that was a band I didn't need to see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking well, ass cheeks and thongs and shit. Hell oh, yeah, guar? guar's awesome, man. <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> is that is that what it was called, a guar? Yeah, uh, at least that's what I looked up. I can't. F not the guar? band, but the animal. Because oh. when I search for the animal... No, no, no. Gar. It's just gar? Yeah. That's what the confusion was. It's a gar. G-A-R. <laughs> hey. I like guar better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, what'd you catch? A guar? <laughs> the band, yeah. I, had the, I caught the whole band. 
Did you look up what that is? Yeah, it's just a tiny ass fucking fish. No, they're pretty big. And the one that we had at our house was like a record size one. Oh yeah, this dude's holding one. It's like bigger than him. It's like damn. A, look at the teeth on that thing. It's like it's like almost like a freshwater alligator. Holy! F <laughs> the teeth are terrifying. Yeah. We kept it in the freezer. In the basement. Did you eat it? No. That was the plan can, initially. Can you eat it? I think so. You can eat gar, right, Merv? Oh, well, no one's gonna stop you. That should be the 15,000 Patreon donation. We eat a gar. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. How many uh, donors have we got for the 15,000 yet so far? Ooh. One. Hang on. Gar yeah, yeah. is completely edible, but their eggs are highly toxic. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, we have one Patreon, but it's a $10 level instead of the $5. Ooh, that's cool. So we're making 10 bucks a month. That's right. Hey. And I'm only paying 18 bucks a month for the podcast hosting website. Oh. oh. <laughs> I know you're paying for that. Well, that 10 bucks a month will go to that. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, Patreon takes a Thanks. takes a bit, and then when it transfers to uh, PayPal, they take a bit. You know. Oh, those bastards! Oh, so it comes to like eight dollars. Bastards! Ah! Oh, God damn it! Well, I guess people will just have to donate more. Yeah. Yeah. That's the goal. <laughs> donate fifteen thousand dollars, we'll eat a gar. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I did not agree to that. Wasn't oh, you that did. your idea? No. <laughs> I just said you couldn't. It's, it's your idea now. Fuck. Yep. All right. Well, uh, the how? Uh. But, but only if Brandon catches it. Fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll try. <laughs> I only chose you because I know you don't fish. I, Steven, I fish. Steven would have fucking caught one. Watch. I would have. <laughs> First, I'd have just seen it. I'd have just dove in. Oh, yeah, I'd be my first cast. I'd like walk down in the woods and just cast into a puddle and pull out a gar. <laughs> no, I gotta oh, shit, do this. There's a gar here. <laughs> <laughs> Better take it home and eat it. <laughs> For fifteen thousand dollars, I will eat the first gar that Brandon catches. All right, unless it's pregnant with eggs. All right, let's see yeah, where, the where our gar is located. Yes. Where did Gar that one come fishing. from? Was it the river? That was from... I thought it was uh, the lake, Piedmont. Oh, yeah, it might have been Piedmont. Yeah. Man, we're going to have to go to Arkansas. <sighs> Why, are Gar uh, populated? I think so. They're around here, or they wouldn't have been at our house. It's true. Well, where did that Gar come from? I think Piedmont. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Who cares? We're, no one's gonna donate fifteen thousand dollars. I don't know. Me. Plus, I already have it on there saying that we'll come to your house and cook you dinner. Oh, that's right. Well, oh, yeah, gonna kiss some people on the nose too. Oh, we'll come to your house and cook you gar for dinner. <laughs> Damn, just doing. We'll it. come. We'll come to your house and watch you. Watch me. I'll have you watch me eat the gar that Brandon catches. Yeah, that's right. Steven will cook it. Videotape it, and that'll be that'll be a podcast. Huh? <laughs> yes. Well, we could do something like so much money, and you can be on a podcast. Yeah, we could do that. But what if it's somebody we don't like? Oh yeah, what like if they're Dax annoying? Shepherd. Look, if you're annoying, don't donate. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Murph. <laughs> No, just, if, they're annoying just, if you're annoying and donate, we'll we'll put up with you because you donated. Okay, that's okay, it. that's that's fair. <laughs> yeah, that that's the big thing for 15k. We'll put up with you. <laughs> no, that's not going to be the fifteen thousand dollar one. That's going to be <laughs> like maybe I don't know the twenty five dollar one. Ah, uh, so that's a little low. Damn, I'm getting greedy. Well, we'll do. Uh, what if we did the twenty five dollar one and the first like three people to do it? Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll settle. There we go. First three people to donate twenty five dollars. Twenty five whole Dolores gets to be what special guests? Special guests on our show. On Bamboo. our show, Bamboo. 
I'm just gonna repeat Murph from now on. And and you have to drink with us. You have to drink with us. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You, you can't be on here. Twenty-one and over. Yeah. yeah. Oh, That's yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we have to add that because we can't promote underage drinking on our podcast. That's right. Hey, hey, <laughs> kids, cool, kids. Stay in school, don't drink, school. don't do drugs don't and all that don't, stuff. Don't do drugs and all that stuff. <laughs> Until you're 21. <laughs> then it's fair game. Tell Courtney to make us some mugs. Well, I, uh, <laughs> we should get Courtney on the podcast sometime. We could. She donates 25 oh. bucks. If <laughs> she donates 25 <laughs> bucks. Right. Would she actually join and do it? Of course she would. We'll tell her to do it then. All right. Next one, apartment two candles on the bamboo podcast. For some reason, a lot of people we know want to be on this. I know. Cody I know told me today that he would want to do it too. Well, I did invite him. Oh, that's right. That's why he said it because you <laughs> just told him he could do it. <laughs> I like the guests. The guests are cool. Yeah, I enjoy guests, that. Guests are fun. Yeah. They had some variety. They do. By the way, earlier when I said except Dax Shepard, I actually don't mind Dax Shepard. I just his name Who was the, the first thing that Shepherd? popped in my head. Why do you have these random ass actor names in your head all the time? My Dak. mind wanders. Tony Shaloub. <laughs> Dax Shepard is married to Kristen Bell. Oh, okay, it's the guy. Oh. Dax Shepard. Yeah, D-A-X. Dax. I thought you said Dak. No. Courtney just shut the door. She did, yeah. You need a wireless <laughs> camera and you should just follow her around. <laughs> She'd probably punch me in the face. <laughs> Might get us more views. Not any more listens because they won't be able to hear you get punched in the face. What about for 50 bucks, we'll smack you in the face <laughs> Live. All right. Oh my God, we're such whores. I've been smacked in the face. <laughs> Don't do so many anything times. for money. That's right. For fifteen thousand dollars, we'll do whatever you want. No, oh, yeah. no. That's a little extreme. <laughs> There's some very creative people out there, and I am not going to be. <laughs> Let's not open up those to the winds. Yeah, because <laughs> I know what I would th- I would do to people. And yeah. <laughs> I don't want to make anybody suffer through that. So we also have what we can do. We talked about before a felon of the week and a victim of the week. Oh, okay. Have we? God, I, okay. I, I do kind of remember that. Well, I don't have a felon, or maybe I do. Oh, I do. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, I got a. I got one too. But you go first. I guess this guy technically didn't do anything illegal. Uh Uh-huh. But... Oh, yeah, he did actually get it. I don't think (laughs) think he's a felon, though. So he just showed up at Walmart in full body armor carrying tactical weapons. And everyone just freaked out. Was this one of those... Uh, Second Amendment uh, type things. I think so. It was like right after that one uh, shooting happened at Walmart. I have the right to carry these AR-15s. Came into Walmart. (laughs) Into Walmart. Said, carrying guns loaded with more than 100 rounds of ammunition. And he said he was uh, walking around recording himself with a cell phone. See, this is like... (sighs) I'm 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 for, you know I'm okay with gun rights, right? Oh yeah, but it's a slippery slope. Well, it's just but, like it's just like everything else. Like we slope? have to put it's... regulations in to prevent this kind of dumb shit. Like, we, we need have to put to regulations to be better. in <laughs> to to just execute people who are stupid. <laughs> oh, okay, that's <laughs> it. Wait, wait, wait. We could yeah, have but, uh, a billion guns per person <laughs> as long as we get rid of all the stupid people. We'll be fine. 
<laughs> and that's the problem is the stupid people are killing the smart people. So we're just doing the opposite of what needs done. <laughs> but the stupid people think they're the smart people. Yeah. And they're the only ones so having kids. Circle. <laughs> so it's just that's, new generation it's, stupid. It's idiocracy. It's coming true. I mean, we're working towards it pretty fast, actually. <laughs> but, like, they talk about how when we were kids, this stuff didn't happen. Like, when we were kids, we didn't walk into Walmart in full body armor carrying tactical weapons, either. <laughs> That's probably why it didn't happen. Yeah, one <laughs> old person, you didn't have Walmart. That's true, too. <laughs> and in, like, the, what, the 60s and 70s, the population was maybe 2 billion. Now it's over seven. Oh yeah. You just have a higher concentration of stupidity, but you have a higher concentration of intelligent people. I bet you there's more intelligent people doing crimes now than ever because they're driven so insane by the concentration of stupid people around them. <laughs> it's possible. But anyway, uh, I th- I thought that was the felon of the week. He, he I, didn't I, technically even hurt anybody, but. It was just, it was a bold move, you know? <laughs> I've got a good one. Okay. Fellow so, or victim? Uh, uh, I mean... It should be a guessing game. You should, like, <laughs> tell the story, like, in a way that we have to guess whether it's a, a felon or a victim of the week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could get creative with that and make it actually kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is a good felon. This is not a good, as in... A good guy, felon, but this is a good story. Okay. Uh, Florida man pulls gun on late arriving furniture delivery crew. So authorities say this 55 year old Florida man pulled a gun on a late arriving uh, delivery team, saying that he's shot people for less. So it appears like this um, the delivery man. They were on their way. When they arrived at his house, they say that... What's his name here? Uh, Mitchell Helton pointed a gun at them and uh, just because they were late. D- just because they were late to what? Oh, uh, yeah. To deliver their furniture. The furniture? Their furniture. Man, hopefully furniture. that guy doesn't them? have Comcast. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So, it's only in Florida, guys. It's always in Florida. Why is Florida so weird? Mm, I don't know. I think, the it's the... <laughs> I think it is. How it's... does Victim of the Week work? I don't remember this. This part guy's of the alias was Dick Face Johnson. Um, <laughs> well, what made us come up with the Victim of the Week idea? There was some reason yeah. for it. We had one like, that was really good. This this seems like a sadder topic than the Felon of the Week. Here's one. <laughs> uh, victim of the Week. <laughs> Woman suffers agonizing octopus bite on her face. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Uh, okay. <laughs> a woman posing with an octopus on her face suffered a nasty surprise when the sea creature bit her on the chin with his venomous beak. Venomous beak? A venomous beak. Um, Do octopi have beaks? So, uh, this lady, Jamie Murr... <laughs> had uh, met a fisherman who hooked an octopus in Washington State on August 2nd and saw an opportunity for an unusual photo. She said, she's quoted, looking back, I probably made a big mistake. <laughs> no way. She put the small eight-limbed mollusk. Are octopi mollusks? Oh, well. Uh, whatever, that's what this story says. On her face, imposed, but the octopus grabbed her with its suckers and burrowed its beak into her chin. Jesus, <laughs> do they for real have beaks? I, yeah, well, yeah, I, I do know that octopi have beaks. It here? was really intense pain when it went inside. That's what she said. That's what she and said. It just bled, <laughs> dripping blood for a long time. Good lord, man. <laughs> well. Did you hear about that thing in uh, Times Square? No. Huh. So people heard gunshots and freaked out and started screaming. And they all started running and like trampling over each other and a bunch of people uh-huh. got injured. And it turned out it was a motorcycle backfired. 
But oh, geez. everyone was so paranoid about shootings <laughs> that they just assumed it was a gun. Oh, That's God. A sad state of our country. Yes, unfortunately. Haven't been able to think of much this time. We didn't have a good victim, but I guess there's not a lot of good victims. You know? I don't know. That, that octopus lady is. Oh, a good yeah, one. yeah. Uh, that poor girl. I mean, what kind of a world do we live in when you can't pose for a picture with an octopus on your face? That's a good point. <laughs> oh, you gotta be. You gotta have that. At least. <laughs> Looking up super weird crimes. Jesus. Some of these are just dark. Not weird. <laughs> just man locked in a pigeon cage for 20 years by his siblings. What? Oh, what man throws a live alligator through a drive through window. Now that's awesome. Man stabbed in the butt on the subway. That's <laughs> what? Naked man <laughs> falls through the ceiling and destroys everything. Man, the, this is probably Murph. Man steals trout, pees everywhere. <laughs> How'd they learn about that? Shit. I'd have to click on that article because I'd have to know. Blow dart attack on Golden Gate Bridge. Jeez. Garlic knots send friends into a fury. <laughs> is it because someone ate the last garlic knot? I don't know. This is like a weird this is a weird headline. HIV positive woman steals eleven dollars worth of frozen food. <laughs> Like, okay, eleven dollars isn't that much frozen food, and why does her being HIV positive have anything to do with is it? it? Yeah, is, is it this a national headline? Is it what? Is this a national headline? And why are they trying to single out people with HIV? Yeah, I know it's just weird. There may yeah, be more to it. Yeah. Maybe that author has something against Magic Johnson. It's just like I, we need to like make it known that HIV people. Are- Magic Johnson found a cure for AIDS. It's just cash. Just money. <laughs> cash money. <laughs> you ever see that episode of South Park, Brandon? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, they, um, what happened? Cartman got HIV from a botched tonsillectomy. So then <laughs> Kyle thought it was karma getting him back. So while he was sleeping, Cartman gave Kyle HIV. So then they realized the only way to cure it was to find Magic Johnson because he's had it forever, but he's still fine. And it was because he slept in bed with all of his cash. So they found out the cure for it was to inject large amounts of cash into your bloodstream. (laughs) Jesus Christ. So then they went to like these poor African countries and were like, we found the cure to HIV. It's just loads of cash. And all these poor (laughs) people were just like, great. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was terrible. It was. I should we... have said this in the last podcast, though. But who's excited for Sigma to come out? Oh, Overwatch. Yeah. Character. I guess. I don't know. Overwatch. Whatever, Murph. I think he looks cool. Overwatch just doesn't um, doesn't T- do it tickle for me. your fanny. It doesn't t- tickle my fanny. Mm. Is that the saying? It's fun, but. It, it tickles uh, Steven's giant coconut balls. <laughs> I'd rather have... I drank all of the, the cold Steven's cum. Yeah, I'm almost done with my second tamabi. God damn. <sighs> you guys are slow drinkers. Steven hasn't even finished his first beer yet. No, I'm a second. No, that one you hold, held up at the beginning of the oh, show. Oh, yeah, I'm still... I'm... Bloody. Bloody. Anyway... Well, uh, cool. I guess that's uh, that's a wrap. Thanks that's for joining show, us. Guys. I will wrap, update wrap the up. Patreon. First three people to donate twenty five dollars can be on. For here. all you um, underagers, wrap it up. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Stay in, stay in school until you're twenty one. Yeah. Until you're twenty one. Thirty six. Twenty one. Stay in school 21. until you're twenty one. Yeah. So and then get... quit. And then drop out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Accrue a bunch of student loans, then drop the fuck out. Right. Because if you if That'll you teach drop them. out in the middle of the semester, you don't have to pay back any student loans. It's fact. I don't know if I believe that. 
<laughs> no, it's the, bad. Trust me on this. Just trust this me. This is the worst kind of spreading of misinformation. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> or stay in school forever. Then you never have to pay back your student loans. That is true. You can just yeah. defer your loans forever. Become yeah. a professional student. That's a thing. Uh-huh. I mean, you could still like get a job and just go to school still. Yeah, I guess the bare forever. minimum. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and then like just, just you'll just have so many class. degrees. Loophole. You would have so many degrees by the time you decide to quit that you would be hired instantly, making forty million a year. Forty million a year. <laughs> is that is that true? I don't know. Maybe. How uh-huh. after how many years of doing the schooling? Like tw- at least forty. <laughs> you were gonna give him twenty, but least, that's like <laughs> I thought you were gonna say twelve. At least twelve. Well, at least twelve. <laughs> twenty years, you can get like what? A bachelor's degree in in like quasi marketing. Twenty years for a bachelor's. What? Yeah, that's how it is. Like it used to be a four year degree in four years, then it averages like six, and it just keeps going up. That makes sense, because, like, to get a master's, it's only three years, so... A bachelor's makes sense at 20 years. So an associate's <laughs> be at least... Well, I think Meg got her master's in two years. So if you drop out in elementary school, you should have your associate. D- yeah. By 33? Yeah. That's when you drop out of elementary school. No, not at, at age 30- 33. No, you, if you drop out at of elementary... How old are you in elementary school? <laughs> <laughs> like, drop out of elementary school <laughs> you won't have to pay your student loans <laughs> that's we true just, we just solved it guys <laughs> that's solved. the secret that's what they don't yeah. want you to know <laughs> you heard it here first all right let's be honest though like in high school you're not learning any life skills anymore like yeah. they're just teaching you bullshit. Every, nothing everything from middle school to high school is almost worthless like, really one think. good year of college, you can learn everything you learned in middle school and high school. Completely. I mean, if they taught you, like, how to cook in high school or how to manage your fucking... That's what they should teach you in high school. And then if you want to learn actual advanced mathematics and crap, then you go to college. Yeah. College should be career-based. Even high school should be a little career-based, like, what you're, like, thinking yeah. of trying to do. High school or should also like put more focus idea. on helping you figure out what you want to do. Exactly. Rather than just trying to tell you what they think you should do. Especially if you're in high school till the age of like 62. Like you have to. Yeah. They need to give you some kind of life skills at that point. That's it. Go to go to high school. And never drop out of high school. Keep going to high school. But never pass oh, a grade. That's right. That's the we're, secret. That's what, we're on the phone. It's kind of like the Van Wilder method, but what he did in college. That way... <laughs> When you finally move on at age 62, any college will accept you. <laughs> oh, but don't, but don't accept the invitation or else you'll get student loans. Unless <laughs> you could use your stature as the longest running ever high school student to get some kind of grants. Is there a grant for that? For being real old? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sure there are. You're old as shit. We'll give you a grant. Oh, yeah. (laughs) It's called the old as shit grant. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe you can get a grant for eating a gar. There's a lot of weird grants you can get, though. If you have have anything weird or different about you, you can probably get a college grant for it. I'll give... If someone ate a gar before they go to college, I'll give them a whole $5 grant to go to college. But it has to be a gar that you caught. Exactly. And not and the eggs. Can you cook it first? It, well, they gotta skin it first, right? Flay yeah, there's no it. way no. you're... You can't eat through a, that skin. It's you like scale, try. like thick. You could, thick you can gar try. skin. You could, like, make armor out of it. That'd be cool. Gar <laughs> armor? That would gar, be pretty cool. Garmer! 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 <laughs> Dude, I want some garmer. We should have a segment on the show just called Bad Advice. (laughs) (laughs) 
I don't know. It sounds pretty good to me. All right. Stay in high school forever. Never drop out of elementary school. Yes. Make body armor out of gar scales. Yeah. Then you're set for life. Yep. <laughs> right. Punch trees with your fists to get wood. Yes, <laughs> like in Minecraft. <laughs> what else is there? All right. <laughs> I, I think we should have ended this episode like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know. I think it got better when we tried to end it, actually. I agree. <laughs> oh, I shit. feel like there are some lulls there, honestly. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are some hidden gems towards the end. Yep. All right, everyone. It's fun, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, oh, thanks, thanks From for now me. on, we should end every episode with all three of us burping. I can't burp. I, oh, that's uh, right. Uh, you turn into uh, a dragon morphing. Oh, yeah. It only happens once every 20 years. <laughs> I was there for one of them. It was scary. <laughs> but, but How okay. did you survive? Oh, you don't. <laughs> Thanks for listening and or watching. Yes, if you May... want to donate, click the, the donate button wherever you find that at. The, I don't know how it works. It'll probably be a link to our Patreon. In okay, the that's fine. Whatever. Just give us money. <laughs> Jeez, Murph. <laughs> Give us money if give you us want money to. And we'll do shit. Yeah. yeah. The more we'll money you, you give us, the more cool stuff we can do. Yeah, we'll, we'll have you on our show. Right now, we're at a deficit, so the cool stuff is at a minimum. Yeah, <laughs> but but you know they'll be coming. Yep. I like yeah. the simplicity of this, though. Give us money, we'll do shit. Yeah. It's it's easy that yeah. way. Like we'll just make shit up. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, cool. All right, see you later. Bye.